my channel, my name is Jet Marag and today I'm doing my October TBR. Here's the secret. I haven't finished my September TBR. I know it's October, or it's gonna be October by the time I upload this, but I don't have any or I don't have any <laughs> spooky Halloween -y books in my TBR because I don't do scary. I'm a scaredy cat. I accept that. The first book I have in my TBR is a buddy read that I'm doing with my friend Kat. This was in my September TBR, but we decided to read it in October, and it is And I Darken by Kirsten White. Ooh, And I Darken. Spooky. I try. I actually read the synopsis this time, and what I've got from it is that we're following a princess, and she wants vengeance, and I am expecting a lot of political intrigue, and it is set in the Ottoman Empire time. Next book I have in my TBR is The Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis. This book right here contains all of the seven books of the Chronicles of Narnia series, so I don't plan on reading this entire book. <laughs> I will be starting with The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe. There's actually two ways to read in the series, which is the chronological order and the order in which the books were released. I'm going to go with the release date, so that's why I'm starting with The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe. I love Narnia and I'm really excited to read this series because the movies were never finished. So I've always been really curious about the world and I finally will be able to understand everything and I will still patiently wait for the movies to eventually be done. Hopefully. Also, we got orange and yellow on this cover. It is totally fall, autumn. I mean, this is as Octoberish as you can get. <laughs> Next book in my TBR is City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. This is the first book to the Mortal Instruments series. I remember perfectly when everyone was reading the series and they were all freaking out about it and I was like, eh, nah, I'll read it later. Well, <laughs> it's been years and years and years, but finally I am picking it up. I am so, so excited. I hope I enjoy it as much as I enjoy the Infernal Devices. The next book I have is An Ember in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir. I don't know much about this book, like, usually. I think it's a historical fiction. I did read the synopsis, and I know that it's set in the Roman Empire, or something like that. The Martial Empire. Ancient Rome. I was right, kind of, I think. I don't know. But I've heard many good things about this series, so I'm really excited to finally start it. Hopefully I enjoyed it as much as everybody else. The next book we have Crown of Midnight by Sarah J. Mass. This is book two of the Throne of Glass series. I realized that I read Throne of Glass um, almost a year ago. So before I forget the entire plot, I decided to finally pick up the second book. I actually really enjoy Throne of Glass and I love A Court of Thrones of Roses. So that's why I wanted to pick up the series. If you don't know what the Throne of Glass series is about, I'm not sure either because I've only read one book. But it revolves around our main character named Selena and she's an assassin. So the first book was about her trying to become the king's personal assassin. So there was sort of a competition between her and a bunch of other assassins and dangerous people. Don't know what's gonna happen in this book but I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> the next book and my final book that I have in my TBR for this month is Unravel Me by Tahara Mafi. This is book two of the Shatter Me series. I just started it last month and I really, 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 really enjoyed it like a lot. This is actually a dystopian novel, which I didn't know when I picked it up. I really thought it was a fantasy, but it's not. Um, our main character has a power, disease, curse, gift, <laughs> depends on how you look at it. And the whole ordeal is that if you touch her, you start to die and eventually die. So she cannot be touched by anyone. And this group called the Reestablishment wants to use her as a weapon. Like I said, I really, really enjoy Shadow Me, and 
and I cannot wait to continue. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to comment down below what books you guys are going to be reading this month. And thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!